in the year 2055. The Chicago-based Time Safari Company offers the opportunity for rich people to hunt dinosaurs in the past via time travel technology as a precaution against the potential change of the past. The company preys only on the dinosaurs who would otherwise die of natural causes and keeps the clients from stepping off the designated path because of the dangers of interfering with the timeline. The company's activities are vocally criticized by Sonia Rand, the developer of the Time Machine software, Tami, who feels disappointed for not receiving credit during her work and is worried that some clients may alter the past through their activities. A trip with clients Eccles and Middleton goes afoul when the gun brought by team leader Travis Raya fails to go off. The dinosaur. An Allosaurus rushes the group, scattering the clients. Raya is able to kill the dinosaur and afterwards regroups the clients and returns to 2055 without further harm. The next day, however, members of Time Safari including CEO Charles Hatton hear reports of global increases in temperature and humidity, and Raya observes a sudden increase in plant life. On their next trip, Raya and a new group of clients find that the Allosaurus he and the team intend to hunt is already dead and the volcano erupts much sooner. The team quickly returns and reports the changes, causing the government to shut down Time Safari for an investigation. Raya learns from Rand that Chicago is being struck by time waves that cause drastic alterations to the city as they pass due to something that happened on a previous expedition. Raya and Rand narrowly escape a building after a time wave causes the appearance of thousands of beetles and a tree bursting through its structure. Rand warns that more time waves can be expected, and each will affect more advanced life forms. People being the last Raya and Rand return to Time Safari to try to fix what has gone wrong along with the government. Unfortunately, another time wave strikes that leaves the city without power and now covered by dense vegetation. Evaluating the machine's logs, they find that the Eccles Middleton expedition had come back a few grams heavier and that the Bio filter was turned off and recognize that they can use the time machine to go back to intercept their past selves so as to prevent whatever happened, but will only have a few seconds to act, and so must work to figure out who they need to stop. The time safari finds their equipment and gear free of anything, so Raya and Rand lead a group through the city, now filled with evolved and deadly hybrids and other new hazards that kill some of their party members in order to find Eccles and Middleton. Eccles is safe but asserts he remained on the path. While Middleton, poisoned by the new wildlife, commits suicide before they can stop him. Afterwards, they are able to find a dead butterfly on the sole of the shoe he used for the safari. The party makes it back to Time Safari after more time waves hit. Now finding the time machine partially underwater and unusable, Rand obtains the hard drive containing the Tami software with plans to use it with the nearby university's particle accelerator as a substitute time machine. With Raya and Rand as the only two survivors, they finally make it to the university. Rand noted that the appearance of simian like baboon lizards from the latest time wave means the Next one will wipe away humanity. Rand prepares the accelerator and stays behind while Raya goes through the time portal. Just as the last time wave hits turning Rand into a humanoid catfish-like creature, Raya catches up to the previous expedition, catches Middleton to prevent him stepping on the butterfly, tells team member Jenny that the bio-filter is off at the same time asking her to give his earlier Self a recording of the events he has witnessed before vanishing. 
The expedition returns without incident to the future they had left and Raya shares the footage with Rand, presumably to use it to bring down Time Safari and make sure nothing like this ever happens again.